Hello and welcome back. This is going to be episode 6, which will be going over our air to ground weapons. I hope you guys enjoy. In today's video, we're going to go over the Mirage's air to ground capabilities. These capabilities allow us to do strikes, limited cast, which is close air support missions. It is capable of using high and low drag bombs, cluster bombs, anti runway bombs, rockets, and guns, along with laser guided bombs that require Buddy Lays or JTAC. Uh, the air to ground weapons are classified by two methods of employment BL, which is going to be our low drag bombs. And then BF, which is our high drag bombs, and also our rockets and our air to ground guns. Alright, let's get into it. First category we're going to go over is BF, which is the high drag bombs. These are designed to allow delivery at low altitude and high speed. The high drag features allow increased separation between the aircraft and impact point. First bomb we're going to go over is our Mark 82 Snake Eye. You can fit eight of these total. These are 500 pound high drag bombs that use fins to slow down. Uh, precision. With a perfect release, 50% of the bombs will impact within 30 meters of the aiming point. Alright, again, you, I said you can fit eight on these. So here, you can fit a uh, single on the inner, or you can fit a double rack on the inner as well. Alright, we got eight bombs on board. Now let's go demonstrate them. Now I'm going to demonstrate using a Mark 82 Snake Eyes as well as go over the Hudson Balls here for high drag bombs that we'll be using for the next couple portions of this tutorial. Before we get started, we're going to ensure that our G limiter is set to the down position, which is right here. If we're in the AA position, we'll have a warning and configuration light. This is pretty much telling you, hey, we're not uh, set up for air to air uh, G limit, so we're going to go down to air to ground G limit. Uh, this is going to reduce your G's, that way you don't rip your ordnance off your, uh, your wings. Alright, so now we're going to actually select BF1, which is our Snake Eyes. Now we have TAS and RS selected automatically on the SNA panel. So what TAS is, is a ranging radar. And what radar, uh, RS is ra radar, altimeter, ranging. And then we have PI, which is the initial point. We're not going to go over PI too much. Uh, so what TAS and RS is doing, they're pretty much calculating the best uh, point of impact for your aiming reticle. Alright, now we're going to go over our weapon preparation panel. Here we have our fuses, so we have a NERT at the bottom, pretty much is a, is a safety for your bombs. If you release them, the bombs are not going to go off. We have delay, so think of a nose, or sorry, a tail fuse. Instant as a nose fuse. Quantity, we have eight Mark 82s on board. But if you can't go in F2 and look at your plane, you press this down here. And you can see what you have. So we have two, uh, four, so we four on one wing, or four on one side, and four on the other side, so we have eight total. So now I'm going to go quantity. You can select how many you want, one through eight. I'm going to select all eight. Distance, interval is a 10 meters. So I'm just going to do 100 meters. So I'm going to do 10. All right, now I'm going to unpause this. All right, now we're going to go into demonstrating the HUD. So I'm going to roll down. Our target's that runaway. Oh yeah, controls. That'll be good to go. All right, so we got weapon system command forward. It's going to pop up our bomb symbology. Then we have second stage trigger. That way we release our bombs. Uh, command forward. All right, so we have a little bit of hustle symbology right now. This arrow right here, this is our too low or high uh, for bomb domain. This is telling us we need to drop our altitude. So we need to be a minimum of 300 feet and a maximum of 650 feet. Pause. All right, let's go over some symbology. So right here, it's uh, it's on safety, so it's flashing, but we didn't catch it. It'll be BF. This is our current air to ground mode. And then right here, we have our bomb release domain. This indicates the altitude and vertical speed. Pretty much keep your flight path marker within the, within the domain, and it'll be good. And then we have our bomb fall line right here. We have the last bomb indicator, which is this uh, this gap right here. Then we have our aiming reticle, which is also our first bomb uh, indicator. So when we pull the trigger, our first bomb will be wherever we're pointing, and our last bomb will be about right here. Then that arrow you saw is the too low or high for uh, the bomb domain. It's pretty much going to tell you to go up or down. Then right here we have our range, so uh, 0.9 kilometers from where our aim point is at. All right, so as well, we don't have any fins on the end of it, so something's not right. So say you forgot to do your fusing or you forgot to do your uh, your quantity and your wings right here, something's wrong. Or you can say, hey, my safety's not on. 
and I have wings. Alright. So, go down a little bit, pause. Alright, so now, if you needed to, say you're approaching and you notice your uh, last bomb, the first bomb, is way too long, you can use this to actually range or kind of estimate how far you need to drop it. So, we're good right now, but if you needed to, you could drop or you could adjust your distance. So, say we wanted to make it shorter for like that intersection right there. We'll do say 30, so 3 or 2. So yeah, 2 right there. Now I'll be pretty much covering the whole intersection. But we're just going to do the whole thing. Alright, now we're going to go F2. Now you guys go watch it. Unpause. Trigger down. And you're going to hold the trigger the whole time until all the ornaments is released. We're going to get out of there. All right, that's the Mark 82 Snake Eyes. All right, next weapon is going to be the Mark 82 Air, which is pretty much the Snake Eye, but instead of using fins to slow down, it's going to use a parachute. You could fit eight of these as well, just like the Snake Eye. You could do a single one. Or you could do a double rack. All right, let's go into the demonstration. To demonstrate the Mark 82 Airs. We're going to set this up real fast. So we're going to go instant. We select eight of them. We'll do 50 meters. This no, we'll do 120 meters. Why not? All right, unpause. Weapon consists of command forward. Oh, I gotta select that first. Yeah, forward safety. Release. All right, that's the airs. Next weapon I'm going to go over is the BLG 66 or Beluga. We could fit nine of these total. Same as before, you could do a single rack or a double rack. Then you could fit one in the middle. Alright, so let's look at these real fast. Alright, so. There, that's a good image. Alright, so what this is, this is an unguided high drag cluster bomb. This launches 151 66 millimeter grenades from uh, one bomb. So all these dots right here is the, the grenades. The sub munitions that we have currently, so we, the only one we have right now in DCS is the AC model, which is anti tank. This is a high explosive capable of piercing up to 300 millimeters or almost 12 inches of armor. Not released right now is the EG, which is anti-infantry, which is a, a lethal zone of 15 meters. It could penetrate up to 4 millimeters of steel. Then the IZ, which is the same as the EG just mentioned, but this one has an adjustable delay fuse that could be set up to several hours. All right, so let's go into it. going to be demonstrating the BLG-66. So we're going to select it, safety on. All right, so fusing on this is a little bit different. So fusing nose is going to be the short pattern which is 120 by 40 meters and we got the tail which is going to be the long pattern which is going to be 240 by 40 meters so we'll select that for tail we're going to select all nine we'll do 80 meters again this is a cluster all right let's do it selected drop down Let's go burner. Alright, that covers that. Our next hydrag bomb and our final hydrag bomb is going to be the BAP-100. This is a 100mm rocket-assisted anti-runway bomb. Uh, each bomb creates a crater that's 4, mi 4 meters wide, 50 centimeters deep, or 12 feet wide and 19 inches deep. 
as of January 2022, uh, the BAP 100 is kind of broken right now. As in, if a plane runs over it, it's going to be ineffective. Uh, it's not a Razvan problem, it's an ED problem. It's been brought up multiple times, just waiting on ED to fix it. All right, let's go into the BAP 100. So this is Oya on the center line. You can do 6. You can do 12. You can do 18. All right, let's go into the demonstration. All right, there's going to be a demonstration of the BAP 100. So let's set it up real fast. We're not active autopause. It only has a nose uh, fuse. We have 18 on board. So instead of clicking all the way right, you can also just click left once. This is 18. Let's select, uh, let's go with 100. Sure, why not? Unpause. Let's go burner. Set that up. That's, yeah, that's a good view. All right. Hunter might be too much. 50. 40. 40 sounds good. Pickle. You gotta hold it for two seconds. Oh, that's the BAP 100. Alright, we're gonna do another BAP portion, but we're gonna show a proper way how to uh, attack a runway. So, most people, they would attack it just is running down the runway, but how you're supposed to do it, you're supposed to come at a 45 degree angle or a 90 degree angle and take off uh, half the or portion of the runway while your wingman, for example, will take out the other portion. That way you could disable the runway in two parts. Alright, so let's set it up. We have 18 on board, so I'm going to do 9. Spread of 30. Is it nose. Unpause. Drop the nose. Get some speed. Got to get a cool view for you guys. Unpause. Pickle. Cut that portion off. That's just about myself. I'll just cut the other portion off. Cut in right there. Get that nose down. Bring it up. Pickle. All right, and that's how you would actually attack a runaway. All right, now we're going to go over rockets. The Mirage can carry up to four rocket pods. Each pod has 18 68mm rockets. There's only one rocket type available, and it's used for unarmored or lightly armored targets. All right, now we're going to go into setting up the salvo rates in the kneeboard. See you there. All right, now we're going to go into setting up the rocket burst count. So make sure your engine is turned off. Go to your kneeboard. Sorry, kneeboard. All right, now up top, we have the Matra 155 burst count. By default, it's set to 6. So while the engine's off, if you want to select a different uh, burst count, so now we have one for every trigger pull you do. It's going to shoot one rocket per pod. Three, so every trigger pull will be three rockets, or yeah, three rockets per pod per trigger pull. Default six, so six rockets per trigger pull. Then 18, so all 18 rockets per pod per trigger pull. Once you find out what you want to do, let's go six. Actually, let's go 18 since that's a different setting. Just leave that, uh, and then start your plane up, and it'll be set to that setting. All right, so this is going to go over the rocket portion. So set it up. Select your rockets right here. If you want, you can see right there as well that you have rockets selected. All right, so now you notice we have, let me pause. We have 
INT and EXT, so internal and exterior or external. So we have four pods on, as you see, internal and external. Let me get a better angle for you. So the ones on the farthest are the external, the ones on the closest are the internal. So you can select either or if you want to shoot them. All right, so now let's go into our salvo mode. So now you notice we have six selected, we have tot selected, and then we have par. So tot is when uh, rockets will be fired. Rockets will be fired as long as the trigger is pulled. So if I hold the trigger down, it's going to shoot all the rockets in that pod. But if I want to shoot my six rounds per salvo, I'm going to go par. So now every trigger pull is going to shoot that salvo. Um, I'm going to do internal tot and shoot them all at once so you see how fast it shoots. Then I'll do the external as par. Alright, so let's select that now. I'm just going to shoot them. And that those pods are empty now. So those internal pods, empty. Alright, now we're going to do external. And we're going to do tot. Alright, let's get to the target. I'll go over the symbology here in a second when we get closer. All right, so rules of thumb, rules of thumb. Well, I can't talk right now. <laughs> All right, rules of thumb. So you want to be between a 20 and 30 degree dive, and then you don't want to exceed more than 0.95 Mach. Again, that's a rule of thumb. Uh, I've been a little bit faster than 0.95 Mach, and nothing's really happened. All right, let's see another dive. Number 20 to 30. Hopefully when we get closer it'll be 20, so let's wait a little bit. Kind of aggressive. There we go, that's what I want. Alright, so the symbology, pretty much like the gun symbology. So up top we have 2,700 meters. Then at the left we have 2,400 meters. At the bottom we have 1,800 meters. Then on the right side is 1,200 meters. Just like the gun, it's going to wind down the closer we get it to range. On pause track IR. Now we're in our salvo mode. So let's send it. And then, right there, that's going to be our uh, symbology to pull up. That way we're not going to get inside a fragmentation zone. But that's two uh, two kills with two trigger pulls. All right, that's the rockets. All right, before we go into the cast demonstration of using our dual 30 millimeter cannon for air to ground engagements, we're going to go over using the knee board and ground crew to select a different burst pattern. So by default, the burst is at 0 0.5. You can tell the ground crew to go to 1.0. Honestly, I don't mess with it. Um, it's a dual 30 millimeter cannon. It's going to pretty much destroy anything no matter what. I'm actually going to demonstrate using CAS, which is using the Mirage's dual 30mm cannons. So you're going to set it up by making sure your gun safety is on. Then make sure your master safety is on. Right here below the select jettison is how you uh, enable your air to ground uh, gun. Then right here we have rapid and lend. So rapid is supposed to be our high rate of fire. Lend is supposed to be a slow rate of fire. Honestly, I don't notice the difference between them. So I just leave it in rapid. As you can see, so here's Rapid, here's Len. I don't know the difference. All right, so let's unpause and get into it. Uh, the targets are the same as before from the rockets, so yeah. All right, let's roll. No reason to go fast. Pause track IR, pause the game. All right, so as before, uh, rocket and gun symbology share the same symbology. So up top, the range is different now, so it's going to be 2,100 meters. To the left, it's going to be 1,800 meters. To the bottom, it's going to be 1,200 meters. To the right, it's going to be 600 meters. It's going to wind down the closer you get. So right now, we're about 1,600 meters out, which is indicated right here as well. And then we have this bar right here, which is our safety bar. This represents the remaining time before the aircraft enters the blast zone or goes under the safety height when it reaches the aiming reticle you need to immediately pull up. So when this is reaching here, we need to get up. You can, you can get away with it sometimes. I'm pausing. 
Burst. Burst. Very devastating gun. Alright, next category is going to be our BL, or our low drag bombs. These are designed to be released from medium to high altitude in level flight or a dive. They're not super accurate, which often requires uh, multiple bombs to hit one target. First one we're going to go over is our Mark ED2s. Again, these are 500 pound bombs. You can select eight of them. Mark ED2s. Mark ED2s. Alright, so we got eight selected. Uh, precision, so perfect release will get you 50% of the bombs to impact within 30 meters. Alright, let's go into the demonstration. All right, now we're going to actually demonstrate using our low drag bombs. This is going to be our Mark 82. So we're going to select BL now. It's going to be on. And go to instant. We have eight on board. I'm going to select four. I'm going to do a spread. Let's keep it like that. Uh, yeah, I'll do 10 meters. All right, so just a note, even though you have delayed or instant, both fuses have a safety timer of six seconds to ensure that they're uh, sorry, ensure that the releasing aircraft is not in the blast or fragmentation area. Alright, so let's unpause and then let's go into controls. As before, we're going to use System Command 4 to get bombing symbology up. Magic Slave AG Designate, so we could designate a point on the ground. And then second stage, uh, that way we can release. Alright, now let's select our symbology. Slow down a little bit. Everything's good. Again, if everything was not good or something was wrong, there will be no wings on the end. Alright, so now... Let's select a ground target. Okay, I kind of see the dot in the crosshair. There we go. So pause, let's pause track IR so you can see what the symbology is. Alright, so on the left we have BL, which is our current air to ground uh, mode. Right here in the middle we have our designation diamond, which is our aiming point. And then right here we have our range, so we're 10 kilometers from this target. Alright, I'm about to get new symbology here in a second. AG designate. Alright, new symbology just popped up. Alright, so what we have now, as you notice, uh, we have these little offset wings compared to our regular wings. This is going to be our roll order. This guides the aircraft in a roll to the release point. So right now it kind of wants me to go a little bit right. So you want to keep this level as much as possible. You don't see it yet, but there's going to be a bar that comes up. This is going to be the release bar. This is displayed when the aircraft is at a distance from the release point. The bombs are released when the bar reaches the center of the cross or center of the diamond, sorry. So when the bar comes up and hits the center of the diamond, they're released. Once you you gotta be holding the trigger obviously. But like once you see it come up, start holding the trigger. Alright, so I aimed at that first truck and hit AG Disney. I'm gonna pull up a little bit. I'm gonna follow it. On pause track by arm. There it is. Trigger down. release Alright, that's using Mark 82s. Alright, the next low drag bombs we have are GBUs. These are laser guided bombs. The target needs to be designated by a laser that is on the same laser code as you. So say your plane is set to 1688 and their laser is set to 1688, your bomb and their laser will communicate. Um, I'm not going to demonstrate this just because it's kind of a pain in the butt on Mission Editor. Alright, so let's go over the first one which is going to be GBU-12s. You can fit four of them on. Alright, these are 500 pound bombs. That's definitely three. There you go, there's four. Alright, the next one's going to be our GBU-16. Which is a thousand pound bomb. Then our 24, our big boy. 
All right, I'm not gonna demonstrate that, but I will show you how to set the laser code. See on that part. All right, so you wanna do some GPU bombing. There's a JTAG or someone lazing for you, but you don't know how to change your laser code. This is how you're gonna do it. So before you start your engine, you're gonna to go to your knee board, and your default code is 1688. Let's say the JTAC or whoever's lazing for you is on 1744. So let's change our laser code channel. We said 1744, so we're gonna go 17. 44. Alright, laser code has changed. Now all you have to do is start your engine, laser code set, and then uh, make sure you guys are on the same laser code and communicate when you drop your bomb so you get laser for you. Alright, now we're going to set up bombing using RD. So if you want to set up an approach to guide you in on a target, so for example, if you're in really bad weather like this, this is going to be based off whatever waypoint you have set up. So waypoint one is for me, Cavaletti. I want to come in at this approach to bomb the runaway with the BAPS. So roughly 070. So route desire right here. 0700 for 70 degrees. RD. I'm going to follow symbology. All right, I'm going to set my BAP as well. I have 18 on board. I do 80 meters. Alright, so on the map, or sorry, not the map, the radar we have here. So there's our waypoint right there. And here's our approach is going to have us fly in. Start dropping my nose just a little bit. It's gonna have this turn right here very shortly. Like yep, right on a cue. There's your runaway. Second dap. Drop the nose a little bit. And trigger down. All right, that's how you set up RD with bombing. All right, now we're gonna go over bomb tossing. Uh, fuck it, let's do it live. All right, so we got the objective right here. I got waypoint two set up right here on this telephone pole. That's gonna be our visual marker. Make sure we're not crashing. All right, so let's get information off of this real fast. So right click, drag. All right, so now we have a range. Now we got our heading. So we got a heading of 26. We're going to use for our route desire. Our distance, we got 7.11 nautical miles. Our altitude in the top left is 43 feet. All right, so that's off of waypoint two. Point two. All right, route desire. Let's enter that. Zero two six. That's wrong. Zero two six zero. Enter. Now we're gonna go offset or bad. We're gonna enter the altitude, which was zero 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 four three. Enter. All right, then the distance top left was zero seven one one. Enter. And then again, the heading is going to be zero two six zero. Enter. All right, about to pass waypoint one. So let's go waypoint two. And let's go route desire. Follow that. I'm going to set my bombs real quick. I have eight uh, Mark 82s low drags. We're not going to get any separation between them. All right, now we're going to go burner. We're going to burn the whole way there. CD off. So pretty much now, all we're using route desire is to guide us into the best flight path onto the objective, so we could toss our bombs.
Okay, I'm using it again. I'm using a telephone pole as a visual aid. Okay, I see it. BL. Now I'm going to hit PI. I'm going to go weapon system command 4 to get some biology. We got a diamond. It's pretty low. Alright, there's a telephone pole right there. Everything's set up. Everything's set up. Alright. AG designate now. Keep a level flight. There's the bar. I'm pulling up. Trigger down. Release. Now I am out of here. Alright, that covers your bomb tossing. Later.